I have to buy my grandma a new pan. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave that in the video. Hey guys, I'm Nate. I'm Zach from the YouTube channel Jerry Rig Everything. Today we're back at the dome and we're going to be doing a few experiments that involve lithium batteries in some molten aluminum. And one of those batteries is still inside of this iPhone. We've got our aluminum, we've got our furnace, let's get started. So this is why I like filming inside the dome. That doesn't look half as good when you're outside. All right, our furnace is nice and hot. Our aluminum is nice and melted down inside. Zach, what's the plan? So we have some lithium batteries that we're gonna to toss in the aluminum because lithium is very reactive and I'm excited to see what happens with that. But I also have this iPhone here from one of my previous videos that has a bunch of scratch marks on it. I scratched it up with diamonds because the diamonds are super hard, level 10 on most scale. One thing I'm curious about though is that the back of this iPhone is made from aluminum and I'm curious to see how that reacts with the molten aluminum inside of the furnace. So we'll take our crucible out, we'll set it on the rock, and then Zach is gonna be putting his iPhone down inside the melted aluminum. We'll see if it survives or not. I bet it doesn't. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say now just drop it in and run away. Yeah. <laughs> That's sick. Oh, that looks good. Is the screen still working? I doubt it. <laughs> no, it went off. Okay. Very quickly. <laughs> that is sweet. I did not expect the outer aluminum to catch fire. I wonder if it's like the, the it's anodized, anodized so. That might be doing it. The anodizing? Yeah. I don't know what that process and chemical is, but that's probably more flammable than raw aluminum. Yeah. Oh, dude, the whole thing's melting. Yeah, that's almost like a sweet smell to it. Ooh, the camera lens is on fire. All right, Zach, now you get to fix it. Yeah. You have a tutorial on how to repair this? <laughs> what we've got here is an iPhone that has been burned to a crisp everywhere. Half of the back melted off and pooled into our aluminum that was already in the crucible, and we've just exposed and destroyed all of the internal workings of it. One interesting thing is that the glass lens right here, well, sapphire lens of the iPhone is drizzled out and it's melted all over the upper part of the aluminum panel. So that's, you can see that how it melted there. Sapphire is that low of a melting point? So Apple sapphire isn't as pure as regular sapphire. Okay. I did some tests on that on my channel, um, but that would be curious to see what the melting point of sapphire actually is. Yeah. Because I mean, aluminum has its temperature. It does. Um, and then all of the glass on the screen is now gone as well. So you can see the aluminum back plate of the screen that's sitting between the LCD and the internals of the phone. Um, but as far as the glass goes on the front, gone. On the back, one thing that I thought was curious, since we're dipping lithium ion batteries inside of aluminum, the pouch style batteries that are inside of iPhones have different anode cathode layers to them. And you can see all these layers folding up and around the battery itself, which is interesting that these survived while the aluminum panel didn't. It's similar to so the other lithium batteries that we're gonna try putting in the aluminum. They have the same idea, except they're rolled up. Circular, It's a yeah. coil, yeah. All right. One iPhone completely destroyed by being half submerged into molten aluminum. Now let's move on to trying our other lithium batteries and see what happens with those in similar situations. All right, we've got our aluminum heated back up. 
and we've got some of these lithium batteries and we're gonna try dropping those into our crucible. So I'm gonna drop mine in negative side first and he's gonna drop his positive side first. Aluminum is conductive. This amount of voltage probably won't do anything, but it's worth a shot. One other thing I'm curious about is what the shell on the outside of the battery is made of. If it's aluminum, it should dissolve just like the iPhone case did. But if it's steel or something else, it should remain intact, right? It might be steel, but I'm not positive. Only one way to find out. That looks sweet. You can see the glowing bits inside. Woo. There's not as much slag as I thought there would be. I think probably a lot of stuff has burned up and it's possible some stuff that's not so flammable has fallen to the bottom. Mm, true. One, two, drop. Oh, shit. <laughs> what in the world? Dude, it's like a sparkler. It's like one of those fountain things you light up on the 4th of July. That's amazing. No way. It's exactly like a firework. That is yeah. so cool. Oh, See, I've epic. burned lithium batteries before. I kind of knew what it was going to do. I had no idea what that was going to happen. Oh, that was great. <laughs> I was like, oh, was that both of them? It exploded. Both of them from everywhere. I'm out. Oh, one of the batteries missed. It might have been mine. I didn't see mine splash in. I was watching I was busy face. running away at the time, yeah. so I'm not sure. One of us failed. Replay the slow motion. Yep. All right, your turn. Nice, it's in. It's flaming. It's gonna pop. Jeez. And now we'll get to the second stage where it, where it sparkles. Sparks and... I almost wish the iPhone would have done that. Oh, sweet. Jet of pink fire. That's epic. So the carcass is still in the molten aluminum, right? So the explosion yeah. was probably just the carcass splitting. Let's tear this open and see like what exactly happened with the heat. I don't think the shell is aluminum. Yeah, otherwise it would have melted. Yeah. All right, so it looks like just one of the ends blew out on both of these. Is it the positive side or the negative side? I think it's the positive side that breaks off because I've dismantled these before and they have sort of a cap on the positive side underneath the wrapper. So you can kind of see the cap right here. That was pretty sweet dropping those batteries down into the crucible, but I think we can go more, don't you? <laughs> we might as well. So we've got a whole bunch of these batteries left. We're gonna try throwing them into this pot, pan, pan, and then we're gonna pour our molten aluminum all over them and hopefully they'll all ignite. Who's doing the pouring, you or me? How brave do you feel? <laughs> I think you should be doing the pouring. I'll be doing the pouring, perfect. All right. Whew, that is toasty. I say that probably every time. It always impresses me when it's glowing orange like that. All right, so I would say you have like probably five seconds before six explosions start tossing molten aluminum your direction. That is probably very true. So I will definitely try to pour and back off as fast as I can. I'm gonna go stand over here away from you. That's a good choice. Three. Two, one. Oh, it spilled out of the container a lot. Yeah, it boiled over. One, two, three, <laughs> five. I've lost track. I think that's five. It should start hissing here. That's six. Oh, this is amazing. It's just like a firework show. Oh, oh that was a getting, big one. Getting dude. too close. That was at least 15 feet. That was quite a shot. Oh! <laughs> that was more like 25 feet. <laughs> that was the finale right there. That, that, that went sweet. off and that was the end. Wow, one final big explosion. That was great. <laughs> Whole bunch of uh, battery carcasses. And again, still some of the, quite a bit of liquid, in fact. That's aluminum for you with its very high specific heat. It does not like to transition easily between one state and another. That was beautiful. Ooh, oh, got a, got a big chunk out. You've still got some, uh, some nice pink flame here. I think that's some of the lithium still burning right there. That sort of magenta color. 
lithium batteries dropped into molten aluminum, sometimes inside an iPhone. It worked out pretty well. The reaction was much more intense with the batteries themselves, but it was still interesting to see what's inside of an iPhone using metal to dissolve the metal around it. Really not the most conventional way to open up a phone, and I think it's probably a little beyond all repair, yeah. even for him. Uh, but that was a lot of fun. Like, we got some great and uh, almost violent reactions from those lithium batteries exploding. The last one especially, it shot sparks about 25 feet. That was pretty nuts. Fortunately, it didn't seem to send any molten aluminum flying. It was just like little bits of sparks from the batteries themselves, but it looked really cool. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit the bomb to get in the club. If you missed our last video or you want to watch it again, click up here at the top. Click down there if you want to see what the internet thinks you should watch next. That's it for now. Have fun, be safe, see you tomorrow.